Hello everyone, this is Frontier. Welcome back. In our last videos, we saw about what is machine learning, types of data and pre-processing the data. Today's video is all about continuation of pre-processing the data. Okay, let's see the second method, feature selection in pre-processing the data. Feature selection is the process where you select features which contribute most to your prediction variable or output in which you are interested in. Having irrelevant features in your data can decrease the accuracy of the models and make your model learn based on irrelevant features. If dataset contains like 100 features, we can't process it all. It will consume more time. So there is a need to select an important features that contribute most to your prediction variable or output. Let's see an example for feature selection. Before that, if you have any doubt about what is target and what is feature and like prediction variables, watch our previous video to get clear about that. Okay, let's take an example. In this consider weight is the target. That is, we are going to predict weight for the persons. Features are name and weight. That is, we are going to use these to predict weight. Height will contribute to weight, right? Like if a person is very high, their height will also be high. But name will not contribute to height, right? Like if the person name is Anu, and predicting that she will have maximum weight is wrong. So we can select the contributing like important feature height. This is the simple example for feature selection. Okay, there are three methods of feature selection. First is filter method, next wrapper method and embedded method. Today's video is about filter method. It measures the relevance of features that is independent variables. It is much faster compared to wrapper methods as they do not involve training the models. Filter method has four divisions that is correlation, chi-square, LDA and ANOVA. First is correlation. Correlation is a measure of relationship between two variables. For example, see the table. If the income of the person is very high, then the person's designation in a company also will be high. That is, there is a relationship here, right? Like salary increases, designation also increases. This is the correlation between these two variables. If two features are highly correlated, then both of the features affect the target in a similar way. So we can select one of the feature for fitting the model. For example, see the below table. Relationship between monthly income and yearly income will be very high because the salary I get monthly increases, then the yearly salary will also be increases and both are representing the salary of the person that both variable are representing the same thing. So you can select any one of the feature. Thus correlation help us in selecting the features for our model generation. Second, we can see there are three types of correlation. First, positive correlation. That is, if the value of your one variable increases, then the value of other variable will also increase. For example, oil and hair length. If we use more oil, the length of the air will be high. Next is negative correlation. If value of one variable increases and the other will be decreased, the inverse relationship like speed and time taken to reach the destination. If you take the high speed, the time taken to reach the destination will be low. Next is no correlation. The number of freckles on a person's face and the number of t-shirts they have. That means there is no relationship between the number of t-shirts they have and number of freckles on a person's face. Next is chi-square. Correlation is about the linear relationship between two variables. Usually both are continuous. But chi-square is usually about the independence of two variables. Usually both are categorical. Whether the value of one of the categorical variable depend on the values of the other categorical variable. This is chi-square. Thus chi-square helps in measure of relationship. Let's see an example for chi-square. This is the representation of male and female over the grades like 9th, 8th, high and college. 
Next is LDA. It is a dimensionally reduction technique. That means reduce the number of dimension that is variables in a data set while retaining as much information as possible. LDA is more beneficial for classification problems. Next is ANOVA. ANOVA means analysis of variance. The variance of a feature determines how much it is impacting the response variable. If the variable is low, it implies there is no impact of this feature on response and vice versa. Okay, in this video, we saw about pre-processing and in that we saw feature selection. In that, there are three methods like filter method, wrapper method and embedded method. Today, we saw that correlation, ANOVA, LDA, chi-square in filter method. I hope you all gained some idea about feature selection in pre-processing the data. Stay connected. We will catch you on our next video. If you have any doubts, let me know in comment section. Please like, share and subscribe to Frontier 2020.